Hello guys, in this lesson we will learn about alcohol and mainly one of the widely used alcohol also known as ethanol. Alcohol are organic compound with hydroxyl functional group. Alcohol general formula is represented as CN H2N plus 1 OH where N can be 1, 2, 3 and so on. Symbol N represents the number of carbon atom. The suffix of all member of alcohol is anol. The first member of alcohol with one carbon is called methanol. Subsequent alcohol in the list having two carbon is ethanol with the formula C2H5OH. Now let's have a look into the physical properties of ethanol. Ethanol is colorless liquid with sharp smell and almost neutral pH. It's volatile as it has very low melting point and has boiling point at 78 degrees Celsius. Most importantly, ethanol is miscible with water and is able to dissolve many organic molecules which doesn't dissolve in water. Ethanol undergoes the following chemical reactions of combustion, dehydration, oxidation, esterification and reacts with reactive metals. Moving on, Let's learn about the production of ethanol. Ethanol is mainly produced by fermentation of glucose and hydration of ethene. Fermentation process has been used since thousand years ago by mankind to produce ethanol from sugar and starch. Ethanol can be produced by using plant sources such as sugarcane, potatoes and corn. First, the yeast is added into the glucose source, which can be starch or sugar. It is left in warm place for several days in the absence of air. This is because fermentation is anaerobic as it takes place in the absence of oxygen. Yeast produces biological enzyme zymase, which acts as a catalyst, slowly decomposes the glucose to form ethanol and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide produced in fermentation makes the lime water cloudy. However, the drawback of this method is that when concentration of ethanol reaches 15%, the yeast is killed off. As such, pure ethanol is not produced using this method. The ethanol produced by fermentation is purified by fractional distillation. The second method to produce ethanol is by hydration of ethane, also called catalytic hydration. Ethene is obtained from the cracking of petroleum fractions. The subsequent addition reactions combines ethene with water to produce ethanol. The process occurs at 300 degrees Celsius at a pressure of 60 atm. Phosphoric acid is the catalyst in this reaction. The ethanol is condensed to form liquid and remaining unreacted ethene is recycled. As mentioned earlier, let's now learn about the chemical reaction of ethanol. Ethanol is highly flammable and undergoes combustion when heated in oxygen. Complete combustion of ethanol produces carbon dioxide and water. In addition, the overall combustion of ethanol releases large amount of heat. This makes ethanol suitable to be used as fuel. Most importantly, it acts as a clean fuel which doesn't release pollutants into atmosphere. Apart from combustion, other oxidation reaction of ethanol requires oxidizing agents. In the laboratory, Acidified potassium dichromate and acidified potassium manganate are used as oxidizing agents. Alcohols, hydroxyl groups, are easily oxidized to become carboxylic acid which has the carboxyl group. The chemical reaction of ethanol shows it has oxidized into ethanoic acid also known as vinegar. When acidified potassium dichromate is added to ethanol and heated, it turns from orange to green. While heating ethanol with acidified potassium manganate changes the solution from purple to colorless. 
Besides that, ethanol undergoes a dehydration reaction which involves the removal of water molecules. The alcohol molecule is changed to alkene. As such, this reaction is used to make alkenes from alcohol. The reaction method in laboratory can be carried out by passing through ethanol vapor over heated catalysts such as porcelain chips, porous pot, and aluminum oxide. Another method involves ethanol heated under reflux at 170 degrees Celsius with excess concentrated sulfuric acid. Ethane in this reaction decolorizes red-brown bromine water and decolorizes purple acidified potassium manganate. A sterification reaction occurs when ethanol is heated under reflux with organic acid such as ethanoic acid. In the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid acting as catalyst. An ester is formed along with water molecule. The properties of ester form smells fragrant and fruity. It is also volatile and not soluble in water. Finally, ethanol reacts with reactive metals such as sodium and potassium to form sodium ethoxide or potassium ethoxide along with hydrogen gas. Now that we have deeper understanding about ethanol chemical reactions and the products formed, it is important to realize ethanol use in our daily lives. Ethanol is essential in the making of pharmaceutical product. Examples are cough mixture, iodine in ethanol solution as antiseptic and other preparation of tinctures. Their properties as solvents for many organic substances and miscible in water makes them an excellent disinfectant in household and industrial cleaning products. In fact, many reliable hand sanitizers that are widely used during this pandemic are made from alcohols which are made from denatured ethanol. This is because it is effective in killing germs and viruses and at the same time safe to be used on our skins. Furthermore, ethanol being volatile evaporates easily makes them a good choice of solvent in perfumes and nail polishes. Hence, ethanol is also used as solvent in paints, varnishes and thinners for lacquers. Some printing inks also uses ethanol as solvents. Ethanol is also a common solvent used in chemistry laboratory as solvent and chemical reactions. Similarly, ethanol is a powerful tool acting as solvent and disinfectant for staffs working in biological laboratory. In the food industry, ethanol is a fundamental source in the making of vinegar. Vinegar are one of the most widely used food preservatives dating thousand years ago and is still an important food additive and flavoring worldwide. Ethanol is also the safest and commonly used liquid in preparation of alcohol beverages such as beer and wine. However, excessive drinking of alcohol beverages leads to damage of organs in our body such as kidney, liver, heart and brain. Alcohol consumption by pregnant women also causes birth defects. Alright guys, that's all for now and thanks for watching.